so this video is all about the nata 2025 i'll explain everything in and out details about the syllabus date of the examination registration process everything in this video do subscribe and support nirmclasses.com nata website is a very simple link you can type in nata.in either in the address bar or in the google so it will take you directly to the nata website so this year the website has been changed a lot better than the previous year before we get into the registration let's look at the nata 2025 brochure so we can scroll through this and then uh, get registered here or download the brochure from here or either from here so i'll go here so it will open a new pdf it's a long big pdf i'll explain only important stuff that are actually required for you first is this page that is there are students who have already attempted the nata in 2024 and uh, may have a very good score and you can definitely use that score for the coming year counseling you are actually eligible to write nata 2025 as well so here they are given a clear pdf you know that in nata generally whatever the number of attempts the best score will be taken so if you have appeared for rata 2024 that is it may be like one attempt or two out of three attempts the best of three is the final score for the nata 24 that you should consider and you are also willing to write the nata 2025 and if you are uh, only appearing for one attempt of 2025 that means your 2024 score and 25 will be compared and best of two will be taken whereas if you are uh, willing to write two attempts of 2025 this score plus all these two best of 3 will be taken into account whereas if you are planning to write the 3 items of 2025 that means your 2025 scorecard will be taken that is best of 3 of this 2025 will be taken and not a 2024 score will be rendered as invalid that is your previous year score will become invalid so next is date and time of the examination so nata from 2024 it is actually conducted as a session based exam if you are planning to write nata exam you need to book a slot based on the availability in the test center in certain for time frame so here they have given the exam is actually going to start from 1st of march and then it will happen till june 2025 so uh, in between these periods the exam will be conducted on every fridays and saturdays friday there will be no morning session afternoon session the timing is from 1 30 to 4 30 3 hours examination and in saturdays it will be conducted in the morning session also 10 a.m to 1 p.m and afternoon same time as the previous uh, friday so any days that is in the friday saturday in between this first of march till june 2025 you can book any slots available in the nata exam centers nearby your uh, city and then you can give your exams maximum you can give three items minimum you can give one item and the time frame between each item is up to your wish based on your preparation you can select the dates so next is syllabus of the examination here the marks and questions are given the exam will be conducted in two parts on part A and part B. Part A includes drawing and composition test. Both are conducted in offline mode and the test duration is 90 minutes and the total maximum mark for this part A is 80 marks. So there will be three questions for the drawing and composition. Uh, don't confuse about the composition test. Composition is nothing but uh, I have made a separate video on the last year 2024. You will be provided with certain 3D objects and you are asked to fix them with the glue in a uh, cardboard. So A one which is composition and color is a drawing question a2 is a sketching and composition also a drawing question but the a3 is a not a drawing question it's something that will make in the 3d uh, composition so that's all about the part a and part b consists of mcq and ncq it's a computer based adaptive test so you'll be giving the exam in the computer and the time is same as part a 90 minutes each question there will be a timer that is 108 seconds for each question and total score for this part b is 120 marks and b1 consists of 42 questions of mcq and b2 consists of 8 questions ncq so totally 50 questions for the part b and it is overall scored as 120 marks so if you have already did the mathematics you would have arrived with this doubt that is 50 questions 120 marks so what is the score for each question will be your uh, doubt might be so i'll the answer for that so each question there will be varying marks some questions carries two marks some question carries three marks and some carries one mark based on the difficulty of the question uh, so uh, totally there will be 50 questions and the maximum scoreable mark is the 120 marks awarded for this 50 question so the grand total that is the score 
from part A and part B all together 80 plus 120 is 200 and that is the overall score for the attack exam and if you are from any local language boards you see the exam is actually conducted in two languages one is in English and the other is in Hindi not in any other languages like Tamil or Telugu Malayalam so only two languages the exam is conducted and you can choose between either of these languages while you are doing the application form so below this part they have given in detail about each topic in the syllabus and reading this would not be a good idea only if you look at some of the example questions and uh, it has to be made as a separate video so if you really need this video do leave it in the comment section I'll make a separate video for each and every topic that are listed in part A and part B we have a dedicated team who prepared a, a set of preparation module for each and every topics here and uh, you'll get access to this uh, so if you really need this access do reach out to Nerem classes dot com either through whatsapp or uh, through the website chat support uh, our team will help you get the access for this preparation module so next is eligibility criteria for nata 2025 the basic eligibility for attending the nata exams are listed that is if you have passed 11th standard or 12th standard or a diploma candidate with mathematics as a subject mathematics has to be there in your subject if you are a school going student that should be physics chemistry max in your syllabus pure science is actually not eligible if your academics full fill this criteria then you are eligible to write the NATA 2025 exam. There is also one more eligibility that is mentioned here that is if you are going to study first year BR program in any college you must have passed 12th standard with the physics and mathematics as a compulsory subject and along with that you should not like only have physics and mathematics you should also have uh, any subjects that is listed here either chemistry biology or technical or computer science or information any subjects apart from uh, the chemistry is actually replaceable uh, physics and mathematics are mandatory and also a 45 percent mark at least in the aggregate aggregate means the overall percentage as well as the major subject physics and mathematics you should have at least a 45 percentage so if you are a diploma candidate you don't have to uh, have a physics as a subject but max is compulsory for diploma candidates and they also have the minimum eligibility criteria as 45 percentage aggregate mark like in other exams and counselings you also have a reservations for this exam also but not while writing the exam after completing the exam you will be applying for counselings different counselings based on the state in that counselling you will have uh, reservations under different categories in case if you need any assistance from NATA regarding the application or you have any doubts regarding the NATA exam you can anytime reach out to this email address or this help desk number and the sixth part comes the application procedure I myself have made a separate video for how to do the application form for NATA 2025 I have attached the link for that video below this description do watch it if you really need assistance and next is the application fee the fees differs based on the cost category if you are an OBC candidate you should pay 1750 for a single attempt and for a SCST EWS candidate 1250 and that's 1000 and outside India there is in Dubai or any other country you must pay 15,000 per test and it's doubles for the two tests and three tests the minimum eligibility mark that you should acquire in the NATA exam is uh, in part 8 it has to be a minimum 20 mark it should not be less than 20 and part b 30 marks should be above 30 marks and the overall qualifying mark is 70 marks out of 200 in case if you are not fulfilling any one of these three points you are actually not eligible that is even if you score above 120 and your mark is actually less than 30 in the part b then you are not eligible and just like last year the nata 2025 scorecard is also valid for two years and next year also you can give one more attempt if you are an 11th standard student and rest of the things are actually not really important it's same for like uh, all the exams you should not copy in the exam or use mobile for anything and the last way they have given all the list of exam centers availability in each city based on the state you can look into this if you want to know the examination centers so that's all about this video if you find this video useful and if you have any doubts that is actually not clarified in this uh, video do leave it in the comment section and we'll uh, update you as early as possible and also if you are planning to crack nata with a very good score we do have a classroom that is actually teaching both NATA and JE paper too. Do subscribe Nerem classes and support.